Welcome back to the Seed Story Cup number three here by Tech TV. And now joining me at the caster's desk is Forzen. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, man. And we have the winner's match of this group ahead of us, and it's a match between Sho, who's also a Swedish player, just like Forzen, and Faramir, who was able to beat the reigning world champion to beat Firebat. So a very interesting match in this group upcoming here, and it also decides who already advances to the next stage of the tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm really good friends with both of these players. Uh, they're really good. Show recently won uh, the Xfinity tournament, um, and Farming has been doing her f has been performing really well uh, the recent three months uh, in like online qualifiers and stuff like that. But lately, he's like not been showing the same results as previously, but I still think he's a really, really strong opponent and it's going to give a very strong. match, a really good match for his money. Taking out uh, Firebat here in a 3-1 series that definitely <laughs> shows that Faramir can take out anybody in this tournament. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, very interesting to see uh, how Sho is going to play that out because we have seen his Druid in the last series. You were not there, but his Druid struggled a bit. It's prepared against Hunter. You have some extra tech cards in that. He switched out the Shades of Next Ramas for some Earthen Ring Farseers. Mm -hmm. So that makes Already. the matchup mm -hmm. against Hunter better. Yeah. But he did lose, he did lose to, to Warlock and he lost in the mirror match against Druid. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So it's going to be interesting how that pays off. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to jump into the first game of this series and let's see what the players chose to play. And we start right away with that Druid matchup here. Yeah, uh, this is wrong because uh, show banned Druid a farm here. Uh, exactly. So uh, we're going to go into another game here. And the reason show banned dru the Druid uh, is because he plays... Uh, somewhat of a really greedy uh, control warrior. So he doesn't want that uh, druid against the warrior. That's basically the reason. Exactly, to it. because the druid heavily favored against the warrior. Mm -hmm. I totally Especially agree to the, that. the greedier versions, like Sho is playing with Ysera, Electrasa, and exactly. Emperor, and like, yeah. Exactly, we saw that version also. <laughs> Ysera having some great impact against Kungan here. So uh, we're just waiting for the players to get ready once again. Just a slight mistake here, just. A little misclick here, maybe by Faramir choosing his druid. And what does Faramir has a paladin, a warrior, and a hunter in his lineup? So the paladin, pretty decent against the warrior. I it's would also say. good versus druid. Um, I don't okay, oh. the players are now discussing it because now show arguments like, okay. I showed you I start out with a druid, so yeah, that's he true. requests a win, mm -hmm. and... Uh, wow, okay, now I was informed that Faramir offered the win here for Sho. That's really good sportsmanship, and wow. uh, it kind of makes sense, because Sho did show him uh, what deck, but... Uh, I'm not sure, but because if they go... Mm, yeah, they're, they're, they're discussing it right now. It, it could be fair to also just like uh, restart the game and like choose different decks. Like you can't choose the same one. You can't. Uh, yeah, switch, the options are available for it's sure. It's still like it's it's a bit awkward for sure. But uh, I totally understand that. But really, really cool here by Faramir to say, okay, man, I know that was my fault to do that misclick, and now okay, you can have the win. But anyway, the admins are discussing it right now. So I, I'm not sure what it says in the rules though. Well, do you uh, me neither. No, me neither. Yeah. So I know that for Pinnacle, uh, Lost Pinnacle, they had a rule that if you misclick the deck uh, that was banned or something, you would forfeit that game. Okay. Uh, but I'm not sure. It's so a free it's win. a free win. Mm -hmm. Okay. We it, just heard. That, that's. It's really sad that that happened. But you know. So the Druid for <laughs> for show is already out. Uh, yeah. He can't play that anymore. And we have a quick z uh, one zero here for for show. Mm -hmm. uh, that free win because Faramir, Faramir was misclicking that, but uh, he will definitely take care of that and will not do it again. I think it wasn't the end of the world for Faramir, considering the Druid was very weak against all of uh, Faramir's decks. Really, it, it has a it, it's not well. I except told you. for the except for the warrior and the hunter. Because mm. it prepared with the tech cards, it was oh, very yeah, strong. Oh yeah, right. You have he, you have he the has that version. Earth and far yeah, far yeah. version. And okay. If you remind that, and also the druid has a nice win rate against paladin, I would say that's something like a 50-50 or 55-45, because I would yeah. give the edge to the druid there. So, but if the druid, yeah, the druid was expected to win a game anyway. Then in this exactly. lineup, exactly. So I guess it's all right for Farmer to give him this win. Yeah. Uh, although 
he would have preferred to knock out uh, Drew with a win. Yeah, and you always want to take a chance. You always want to fight about it. And this is not the second matchup that oh. <laughs> Faramir wants. Oh, oh that wait, hurts this is actually a, a control. Um, yeah, as control it looks, hunter. Faramir is bringing a control hunter here. We have seen uh, the big game hunter. We have seen the uh, Kazan Mystic and also a Harrison Jones lining up here. So that's going to be interesting how that works out. Also, the freezing trap, freeze yeah. storm against Moria. Show got a really good hand here with that Fire War X top deck. Um, well, that web spinner one turn too late, but it's still better to play that than the freezing trap. Yeah. You want to recycle it for a beast or get the value from Leok um, if you play Animal Companion next turn. Exactly. Show, on the other hand, could now go for a Cruel Taskmaster, take it out immediately if you wanted to. You could also think about coining out that a lot of pain, but then you have to be afraid of an Eagle Horn bow. And mm -hmm. so Show just goes for the Cruel Taskmaster, takes care of that, and also that River Crocolus is not too bad here for Faramir. It is not, but we're gonna see a bow here to trade. This is a Control Hunter. He just wants the board control. He's not worried about the phase, and this Control Hunter is um, pretty decent versus Warrior. The f but the fact that he's running cards like a Sun Mystic makes the matchup worse again, so... Exactly, that's He's running thing. Harrison Jones, though, which is really good against Warrior. Yeah, and let's see what's el what else is in there. Well, we do have the Savannah Highmans, that's also crucial in that matchup. Well, I expect them, we haven't seen that yet, but I, mm -hmm. I expect them. And also, Dr. Boom is pretty nice here, and he gets a Misha that's pretty decent because we do not see a Death Spite here in Show's hand already. Yep. And now Faramir decides to trade into that Acolyte of Pain, just drawing one card off that, but wow! Wow, top deck's the... Not really top because he was gonna draw two cards, but he yeah. got it. And that's the important part for him. Death Bite coming here, very nice. Take care of that Misha. And yeah, wow. just... This is so bad. He's drawing both secrets without the Mad Scientist. I'm not sure if he's running any more secrets. He might be running a Snake Trap, I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, it's bad to not get full value from your Mad Scientist. Exactly. <laughs> you do not want to have both of your secrets line up in your hand. But this turn... I, th I think it's honestly just uh, like Crocolisk and Hero Power. I think so too, because you have to do something against yeah. the weapon, you can't just if, leave it if there. If you had a Svenna High Main, yeah, there, was, there could have been reason f to develop the Freezing Trap right now, but uh, he has nothing in his hand to follow up, uh, so Hero Power is most likely going to be played here along with the River Crocolisk. Exactly. Oh, it, it it seems like the game has uh, bugged out. Oh uh, my god, again? Yeah, if, wow. if if both players were to alt F4 here and maybe reconnect, then maybe that would settle, but I don't think they want to risk doing that in tournament. Yes, I would say so too. So we got some, some admins now here taking care of that. Uh, Faramir is having some problems. Yeah, a series with a lot of struggles. We already had here the, the misclick for yeah. Faramir. And now, first of all, okay. It's a re-game. Uh, uh, that's oh. that's got to feel... I mean, that's it's probably better for Faramir, but uh, yeah. like you can't call a game that early. Like, um, Sho had the perfect answers there to everything Faramir played. And like it was clearly in his favor, but there is no way you can call a game that early on. Like, there's no way. So, a re, a re game is the best solution here. Yeah, exactly. I agree to that. Uh, both players are preparing to jump into the game again, and we are also joining them. Yeah. Oh, you're in the game? Oh. Let's the hunt begin. So, there we go, Kazan Mystic is replaced again. Animal Companion is capped, I like that. Oh, double kill command in the early game. Yeah, it, it's it's a bit awkward, but at least they got the Animal Companion and the bow, which is great. Um, kill that Acolyte or Cruel Taskmaster, whatever it might be. Show starting hand, not that great this time. Uh, he does have the Cruel and the Despite, but no Fire War X, uh, no Acolyte, uh, no Armor Smith. So it's just gonna be a hero, hero power pass here. Exactly. So, and Misha is probably not that good here, and uh, neither is Leok, so Huffer... Um, 
Yeah, he just gets the Misha, but, well, you can't take it out. No, you can't take it out, but next turn you can. Uh, but if it was a Huffer, you could have just uh, dealt 12 damage in total with it. Exactly, and 12 damage, that's a huge amount here. Yeah. Uh, Faramir, this turn, I expect him to go for the weapon. Yeah, just weapon and pass. Uh, you don't attack. So you can play Shredder next turn and still have a bow. But then you have to be careful if you're expecting a Harrison Jones to come down next turn. I would suggest to attack with that. Weapon. Yeah, but you you have one turn until then, so yeah, you can exactly. Well, just uh, for this turn to uh, for Faramir to remind, please use your weapon because there might come a Harrison Jones, and exactly that's what he does. Mm -hmm. Very well played here. But so. Still, to me, it looks like a nice turn here for attack into the Shredder, look what comes out, mm -hmm. and then go for the Harrison I, I totally agree. Um, I bet that's what he's going to do. Um, I don't think, like, there are some cards like Mana Wraith that prevents your Harrison Jones, but it's still better than to paint a Doomsayer. Yeah, the chances, the chances are just so low, and Fermi just gets an unstable ghoul. Not the best card, actually. Yeah, <laughs> like this, you don't even want to play your snake Yeah, that's, so, that's horrible, horrible. Do you want to freeze that? I mean, this hand is looking horrible here for Faramir. Double trap again without the Mad Scientist. Double kill command. Yeah, I don't I don't see any other play. And I think you want to hero power here instead of developing trap because yeah. you don't have that. Oh, wait. Was that a... Did he think he could kill that? Or did he just... What? Did he think he could kill that Harrison Jones? Why should he kill that? Because you have the death rattle torn. Yeah, but just for one damage, uh, like... He did one extra damage to show's face, so... Mm, but in case of Armorsmith and like it's... Mm, I don't know. Yeah. It, yeah. One damage is like, I don't know. It's In case like, of Armorsmith, you can play it safe, like yeah. you suggest. Okay, I, I understand that and I agree, agree to mm. it. Wow, unleash the hounds on one minion with the kill command. Yeah. So Faramir is desperate. There is no way you freeze trap that. <laughs> like, there is no way. Yeah, it's an Emperor Thorazan. And there we go, a Shield Maiden is played for 6 mana and a 1 mana Cruel Taskmaster enters the board and punishes that doggy. Farmer is getting a turn 7 Dr. Boom, which is pretty good, but I think he's too far behind this and game. And he's facing a big game hunter, yeah. we see the brawl here and it's, it's running out perfectly here for show. First oh. of all, he goes for the Acolyte of Pain. Yeah. Will then attack in two. Boombot get. Does he get the lucky hit? No, he doesn't. He gets a three to the face. There comes the big game hunter, followed up by Sludge Basha. And look at that huge board. We've already seen the Unleash the Hounds being played, so there's not real, not really a way here for Faramir to punish that. He draws into the Savannah Heim and decides to place his Snake Trap. Maybe get some value by, by uh, the Shield Maiden trading into the Savannah Heim, and but then. Also, the Acolyte of Pain is going to turn, tr uh, turn yeah, crazy. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm not quite sure what cards Farmer are, are running in this deck. I would assume he's running like a Ragnaros as well, maybe, in this Control Hunter. But uh, not even a Ragnaros can turn this game around, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see a, a Dr. Boom from show most likely this turn. Well, first of all, he runs into the Savannah Highman to see what secret it is. It is a snake trap, and I, I just love the expression in Cho's face. He was yeah. like, snake trap? Really? Are you kidding me? Yeah, he, he was trying for freezing trap there. The, yeah. the, the most optimal play would have been to trade the 5-5 the five five into it, and then trade a 2-1 with a 2-2 two two hyena. But he couldn't <laughs> know that it, was freeze, that it was snake trap, so he did uh, the best play here. Yeah, and With still like that, it's had. okay. And he drew another card from that Acolyte of Pain. He has a lot of options lining up in his hand. Uh, has the Shield Maiden also there for some, some more armor. And yeah, for now, as you already said, big, uh, big Game Hunter, Dr. Boom on the board. Probably yeah. being followed up by the Big Game Hunter here by Faramir. For sure, for sure. Um, Knife Juggler <coughs> might actually make a difference if he top takes his second Unleash, but... Yeah, it's not something you can play right now. He's gonna try to get lucky with this bomb and hit the Shield Maiden. But I prefer I using the BKH first, first in case. Yeah. Wow, it 
Wow, he did. He is he lucky, it, but, but unlucky in yeah. the end, just hitting for two. Uh, but still, reducing his chances here with not playing the big game hunter first, and he uh. even plays the knife juggler. Wow, it hits the echo out of pain. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, Web spinner go. hit the accolade once more. Oh, no! He does hit it. That's pretty good. He takes out the shield man, bringing down Show to 17 HP. There's a Ysera though. Uh, that is actually pretty huge because Farmer has no way of dealing with it. That's not a bad minion to get from Web Spinner, but it's. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. Alex Strassa. No, it's never gonna be enough. Yeah, here we go. He's gonna go for the bomb again and try to get. Oh, that's a good bomb. Yeah, this game is 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 over. I, I don't see Farmer continuing playing this game, really. It's like Me neither. Yeah, there we go with a concede. And also the Warrior takes uh, the first real victory here for Show after getting that free win in the first round. Yeah. And now Show is left with a mage going up into a paladin, a warrior, and I a hunter. I weren't here uh, at the beginning of the day. Do you know what mage this is? No, it was banned in the first game. It was banned. Okay, so I would assume this is freeze mage um, or mech mage. I'm not quite sure, but he was, he's was he been playing a lot of freeze mage lately, but he feels more confident with the mech mage, I think. Even though he might consider freeze to be strong right now with the, um, the emperor. Yeah. Uh, that's totally a thing you have to think about, but if, well, we see Faramir picking his own warrior, going up against the mage, I can't understand that. You don't want to run into, into a mech mage, though, yeah. so he might be thinking the same as you do. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a mech mage, actually, because that's what Sho played in uh, Xfinity, and okay. I, and it, it's, in fact, going to be a mech mage. I, don't think, I think that Sho respects the freeze mage, but he's not good enough to play the freeze mage uh, at a high level yet, like at a perfect level. Very well predicted here. <laughs> And uh, Faramir, on the other hand, he has a Sludge Belcher, he has Shield Man, so that's good for, for the mid game or the late game, but you the, the game bugged out again, so we have a quick spectator bug, we will rejoin. But what I wanted to say, in that matchup, you definitely need your, your Armor Smith, your Cruel Taskmaster, fiery your war Fiery War Axe, the Wind Axe, definitely very important. Yeah. And so it did look like not too many early game cards here for Faramir. But as we are quickly rejoining, we see that it's exactly what we were expecting. The infinite freeze here with the snow chugger, it can't even get taken out here. Yeah, this is looking really bad for Faramir here. Like that death spite w would have been a good top deck, assuming he could actually attack with it. <laughs> uh, he can't do that right now. Wow, and some more damage by drawing that fireball. You could easily go for the blast mage here. Yeah, I would most likely go for the Blast Mage here. Uh, he's gonna develop Mirenti to play around Brawl here, uh, which is okay. And you're also playing a Bounce Sludge, uh, around Sludge Belcher with that, because turn 5 usually is the turn for the Warrior to play the Sludge Belcher, as we see it here. And by getting that yourself for uh, for show, you can still set the freeze to the face and you have enough ways to trade it away. You could even use your Fireball if you wanted to. Yeah, you prefer though using like uh, Blast Mage here to uh, trade your 3-1 uh, to prevent something like uh, Brawl and Whirlwind or something like that. And the thing is with the coin you still have the option to use the Frostbolt or the Ping in case yeah. everything goes wrong. Now I expect him to use the Spider Tank to take out the Slime or the Sludge I would, Belcher. I would most likely want to see the, the Sludge Belcher here attack um, because of Execute uh, on the mech. Well, you still have a second mech, and I wouldn't want to bring the Sludge Belcher into range of killing for the Death Spite once but, you but maybe lose your Snow Chugger mm, to a Shield But, but slam how are you gonna lose your Snow Chugger? It's to like Shield Slam. Mm, yeah, I guess. Like Shield Block, Shield Slam, or Shield Maiden, Shield Slam in turn 7. Is that really what you want to Shield Slam though? I would most certainly Shield Slam the 5-4 the instead of the 2-3, because the game might already be over if you Shield Slam a 2-3. Yeah. It's gonna take so much more damage. That's right. For now, he's preventing the most damage possible while well, by taking the Sludge yeah. Belcher, not really, but he's taking out one of the biggest minions. Yeah, this is like this is why I, I want him to attack with the Sludge Belcher, because you want to kill the Sludge Belcher more. Uh, like, if you're gonna start taking damage here to face with the Axe, it's, you're gonna lose anyway. And he's also setting up a nice turn for Burning yeah. and clearing all those minions here. Uh, but for now, let's calculate. We got 9 Five, damage six. here, 12, yeah, it's, 14, it's 15. So lethal damage incoming in a very quick series. Yeah. I guess that was the fastest series in the two days. 
already. Yeah. I, I I bet Farmer is not too pleased about the, um, the the first game there where he had to concede his warrior, but uh, he still has a shot in this in this um, tournament. And he has to beat exactly. either Firebat or Kungen, I think. Exactly. He goes up into the decider match just uh, coming after the losers match, which we are casting next, where we are going to see Firebat and you said it just before. Kungen. And Kungen, exactly. So Faramir still in the tournament, but losing 3-0 here to show. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for casting the game with me. No problem, man. And we will be right back after a short break and prepare yourself for some great Hearthstone. 